what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back we are embarking on a new journey today and i'm ready i'm ready hopefully you guys are too this was a series that was requested a long time ago when it was you know when the anime just came out um they suggested that i did this but as you guys know um at the time i was too busy with too many different shows and you know suggestions are suggestions when they come in they come in and whenever i get to the shows i get to the shows um just finished wrapping up um the the first season of the god of high school so i'm gonna dive into the promised neverland now and get some things done okay so i have no clue what this is about like i don't even have uh, the slightest idea of what the promised neverland is about um i just know that it was suggested because it's basically a modern anime um i don't know if it's a shonen anime i don't know if it's a story anime i don't know what it is the one thing that i do know is that since the second season um of promised neverland started people hated it because they changed some of the stuff that was in the manga of this anime now listen as i said i keep up with anime news so those things will i don't know the plot of the anime it's just that people you go you go to sites and stuff and to get anime news or whatever you just see people complaining oh they shouldn't have did this or did that i don't even know character names or anything i just know that that was a complaint it was one of the headlines that fans are very upset um one of the people that i watch um their anime news channel is for never world if you have if you don't know who for never world is he's been in anime community a long time on youtube um even before anime really became what it is today on youtube and you know when he did that news part you know i was listening to it and i you know i heard him talk about that stuff so this no spoilers i don't know what this anime is about i don't know why it's popular why people love it whatever the situation is but in my opinion when mangas get anime adaptation it's usually because that the the manga is popular enough a lot of times um you know they don't just make those decisions especially japanese studios which don't have huge budgets you get what i'm saying they don't just get up and be like oh let's just make an anime out of this no it's gotta have uh basically a pre a preview of the, what the audience is going to be like before they make that decision um so that's how it works out but in any case one um as i said i don't really know anything about this anime i have no clue as to who the characters are how this is going to play out or what it is going to be i heard season one was really good and that's about it and i heard they changed some of the stuff from the original manga right inside of it so we're gonna see how that takes place and then i will catch you guys for the review after of course this, this is a cut up version of youtube but i usually say that um so if you are new to the channel and you're watching this on my terabyte reacts and gaming channel i hopefully that you guys will um <laughs> will know that i had a channel before this okay i had a channel um it's going to be posted on both channels but the reason is because the reason why it's on this second channel which is terabyte reacts and gaming is because notifications are broken on the original channel so what i would love for you guys to do is to subscribe to both channels but i know some people are not going to do that i still need this channel to grow as much as i want the original channel to keep growing but it's it, it's doing good on on its own it's just that when i post videos over there my subscribers have no idea that i post videos so um i i, I was fighting with youtube and all this other stuff so i just um decided to go ahead and test something else so i'm hoping right what i'm hoping for is for you guys to you can watch the series here or you can watch it on the other channel as i said it's going to be on both if you want to support both you can do that if you want to see these episodes um early and you want to just see them because all 12 episodes of the first season of promise neverland will be available 
on membership on the original channel. Now, I, I know it seems like a lot of work, you know what I'm saying? But I'm trying to salvage <laughs> what I've lost, okay? Um, so I'm asking you guys very sincerely, if you want to see all 12 episodes of The Promised Neverland, because if all 12 episodes will drop on the original channel for early access. Early access is only $2 a month. Okay, so if you just wanna sign up for a month and watch um, all 12 episodes on early access, that would be awesome. So just know the link for the original channel will be in the description of this video okay so thank you guys so much let's go watch the series and as i said before i will see you guys for the review right after are you guys ready let's go promise neverland episode one To determine what um, gender is some of the characters. So this is like our orphanage, but why do they have numbers on their necks? That's that's the That's very strange. And I realize that the mom doesn't have Whoa. So they go to school and stuff. And they're tested? So this is obviously probably some kind of experiment or something. It's hella weird, bro. All of them. The house. So we got Norman, Emma, and Ray. I think that those are the three names that keeps getting brought up. I think.
か<笑>ここで、ここで、ここで、ここで、ここで、ここで、ここで、Any type of anime, you know, I gotta have theories, okay? I, I just gotta have theories because、um, I, I have to have theories. So, this is giving me a lot of.、Um, I can't remember the name of the anime. Oh my god.、Uh, um, Darling in the Franks, right? Give me a lot of that vibe. As in. They don't really understand their full purpose. Like in Darling, it, um, Darling the Franks was a very good anime up until the, they just completely blew the ending. Um, but in retrospect, as I said, it's giving me a lot of that vibe as, um, I'm not saying they're the same concept. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that when it comes on to, you know, The kids, them being in a, kind of an orphanage situation, don't really know why they're in this bubble. <laughs> you know what I'm saying?、Um, they don't know what the real world is. You know what I'm saying? It's a big, you, you know what I mean? It's in Darling the Franks, they were fighting for something bigger than themselves, but they didn't exactly know what they were fighting for. You know what I'm saying? And they were basically being prisoners. Now, Of course, none of that is being revealed yet, but it's giving me a lot of that vibe, as in, you know what I'm saying?、Um, and I can relate to this because I did go to boarding school when I was when I, when, in my teenage years. I went, to, I went to boarding school, and to have a gate that you can't. They say you can't go, you know, if you leave, you, you have to go home, blah, blah, blah. It's just kind of giving me that feeling, as in. Them having this fence and not necessarily a wall, or you know what I'm saying? It's like a gate or a fence, and it's just like, what's threatening about a fence? Like, why can't we go across it?、Um, it doesn't seem like there's a barrier there of any kind. It just seems like the mom just tell them, don't cross the fence. Who knows what's going to happen? Kids are leaving, they never write, 
You know what I'm saying? But that's 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 regular stuff. That's real world stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like when you leave something, you don't write back. Why would you write the orphanage? Like you get what I'm saying? Because if it's, you know, adults that take them from the orphanage, like they're not going to write back to the orphanage. Maybe some some people do, but it's not a regular occurrence for kids who leave orphanages to write back to the orphanages to, to the other kids. Like it's it's not a regular thing. So yeah so let's go back because i think i missed a couple of lines there i want to hear yeah and talk about the false appearance and stuff like that no one writes us is yeah because it's like the false appearance not really like mail out no letters for the kids or something like that you know what i'm saying She, Emma's got to be a girl, right? There's something going on, man. Is because I mean they don't even the parents are not even there. And why is this orphanage just in the middle of nowhere? It's very strange. Okay, so they. She left the bunny. Oh, damn. Emma is going to go look. This is sketchy as a <laughs> This is really sketchy, bro. Like, there is something weird going on. Like, they it feels like they're experimenting on the kids or something. Exactly, is it so quiet here? Oh, 
Oh damn. What did what did she see? What's in the truck? Is it her? Whoa. Yo, what? Yo, what are they doing to the kids? Nah, she did. She died. Oh! Yo, bro. Yo, stop this for a second, bro. Stop this for a second. Because when I talk about... Talk about unexpected, bro. Like, I knew something freaky was going on. But I wasn't thinking, like, monster alien. <laughs> that was not in the purview at all. <laughs> bro. Talking about just, like rear ended <laughs> like out of mind like I'm talking about what bro yo that creeped me the hell out bro like I'm my I got goosebumps bruh yo the way how they did that scene and the 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 music that came in that eerie music like I knew it was gonna be on some some horror thing because they silent it. That, that was brilliantly done. If you want to get someone into you watching something, like, this is the perfect way to do it, bro. Like, that's crazy. Like, what a... Them... <sighs> Let's just watch the end of the episode so I can do my review. Jeez. Yo, they... They're just food, bruh. Both of y'all saw it and heard it. Yo. So y'all not going to tell him? Yeah, well, I wouldn't tell the, like, the littler ones, but. They got to make plans to get everybody out, like, but that's a lot to put on an 11-year-old, though. But they talked about their skills and strategy and all of that. They, I mean, it's probably going to be them against the mom, but that's crazy.
they got to figure out what's beyond the fence other than that, though. Like, there's got to be something else. I mean, these guys are they're monsters. They're aliens, whatever the situation is. Oh, he was out. Oh, my God. I think she knows, bruh. All right. I'm telling you guys right now, bro. Right? If if you had asked me, if you had asked me what I thought Promise Neverland was going to be about, I promise you. <laughs> I promise you, I would never have guessed that that's what it's going to be about. And you heard me talking about during the episode how it reminds me of Darling in the Franks. And it's <laughs> it's one of those is one of those animes that you don't know exactly what everything is. You know what I'm saying? Like way down the line, they will give you a hint. You know what I'm saying? But episode one. And I'm pretty sure that's not the full story, don't get me wrong, but this is what I'm talking about when you've heard me say or when, I, when I'm reacting to anime and I tell you guys that with, you have about three to four episodes to get your audience hooked into anything, whether it's TV shows, whether it's, you know what I'm saying, whether it's anime, any sorts of medium where people is going to consume it on, a, on like a week to week basis or whatever the situation is, you know what I'm saying? You have to grab the attention of your audience within a certain amount of time. We have very short attention spans, especially for some. Somebody's not going to just give something a chance just because. You get what I'm saying? And a lot of people, you know, if it wasn't for you guys and the content that I create on YouTube, there's a lot of series I would have dropped within, the, within that period. You know what I'm saying? Three to four episodes, maybe five episodes. You know, um, so... I'm not saying every anime got to be like this. I'm not saying that. What I'm trying to say is that episode one of Promise Neverland, like I've just finished watching it, is just that good. It's that good. I am already hooked. I, now I want to know why is there alien monsters or monsters, period. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, I thought this was just going to be some sort of human element and stuff like that. Um, you know, are they going to is this going to be just a, some hand to hand kind of combat or is, is this a shonen? Is it just about the story? Is it just about them escaping? Are they going to learn to fight? Are they you get what I'm saying? Like those are the things that I need from episode one. You know what I'm saying? Of an anime. You have got me hooked now. There's also the, you know, I don't read the manga. I've never read the manga. I don't know what the hell this is about, but episode one definitely gives me an idea of what I can expect from this anime, right? And the idea around the story, like they established all of that in episode one, right? So, and I am going to watch episode two right after this, but at the same time, the way how I'm looking at it from, from the perspective of what could take place and where this anime can go, I haven't read the manga. So might be so season two might be good for me because I have not read the manga. I don't know what the source material is like. So I'm not going to sit here and say season two is going to suck. You get what I'm saying? Because of course, the manga purists, they're going to say that it sucks because they, they you know, from what I know, they changed the narrative of what happened in the manga versus what they're going to do in the anime. That's what I heard. I don't know if it's even true that that happened, but I know that they complain if, as I said before, I, I did hear For Never World talk about it. He didn't go into details of what happened in the manga versus what happened in anime. He was just reporting the news that that's the direction that the, the studio was going to go with. So that's what i know so but i don't know i'm not gonna sit here and be like season two is going to suck i haven't seen it yet i don't know what was the narrative the narrative versus the narrative in the, man the manga so I, I don't know um so but in any case man even though i don't quite remember i, I know it's i think it's norman ray and emma 
think those are the three characters here that I have here standing behind me. Um, so we're going to get to see what, what, what this is going to be about. I don't know if they're going to get powers or whatever this is. I don't know what's going to happen. So I don't know if there's going to be a power system, but it's definitely the story alone. And you guys know how I get excited about stories, right? You know how I get excited about stories and storytelling and stuff like that. Like I love that more than anything else. Even if it has a great power system behind it and, 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 and all of this stuff, like I will more watch a series and enjoy a series more if the story is captivating and that will hold me. I'm in. I'm in. Promise Neverland episode one was an awesome beginning to this anime. And I'm not even like, I'm not exaggerating. I, usually in episodes one of most of the series that I watch, you don't see me pausing. <laughs> okay. I don't pause much during the episode one, but I had to pause to talk about it because not only did they do a great job of introducing us to the series. They did an excellent job with when to play, when to play music. So I know the audio, the audio design in, in, in this, like the OSTs are off the chain. The opening was awesome. Um, so it's only episode one terabyte. Why are you, go <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm super excited to see what the rest of the season is going to be about. Appreciate you guys for tuning in as always, man. It's all I have to say. I want to go watch episode two right now, man. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. Don't forget, guys, if you want to watch all 12 episodes of this series, okay? If you want to watch all 12 episodes, go to my original channel, Terabyte Reacts. The link is in the description and go, um, you can sign up for the membership over there. All 12 episodes are available on membership. So if you're watching this episode one for the first time on the, on the channel, whether you're watching this on Terabyte Gaming or I mean, Terabyte Reacts and Gaming or just on Terabyte Reacts. I know it's, it's a little confusing. Don't, don't come at me. It's what I chose. <laughs> okay. But in any case, guys, all I have to say is make sure that if you want to do that, if you want to see all 12 episodes and know how the reaction, then you can binge watch them. It's $1.99 to sign up for membership over on the old, old, old channel. Um, so I don't even really want to call it old because it's not really my old channel because I still have it going. It's just that notifications are completely broken on the channel. So nobody knows when I really post nothing over there. But as I said before, the reactions will be posted both on on both channels when they start coming out but if you want to watch all, all 12 episodes of the first season of the promised neverland you can go over there and sign up for the membership and all 12 episodes will be available appreciate you guys so much i will catch you guys for the next one of course if you're just waiting on the youtube videos thank you guys so much appreciate y'all i don't know how this series is going to do on the channel but regardless we're here i'm enjoying it one episode in i'm ready to go thank you guys so much leave a like on the video and of course leave a comment and i will catch you guys later peace